Hello everyone. Um, welcome to our custom investments task module for 1571. Starting 1571, we are now providing the ability for our uh, customers to be able to track tasks against their custom investments. This allows the ability for our customers to have actuals uh, for those specific tasks and be able to see how much they're actually spending for those individual custom investments. The reason this is important is because our customers have come back uh, asking us that if custom investments is the long-term goal for the product, they want to be able to track tasks against it. Um, these tasks could be in detail, similar to projects or could be high level, but they wanna be able to track those tasks, be able to see them, uh, prioritize them, see them in a timeline view um, and have additional details around those tasks itself. So starting 1571, we are making that functionality available to our uh, end users. The task module is a new module that will be available to our end users starting 1571 that can be included using the blueprint. You can uh, define this as well as there are going to be new access rights that will be available that will control that once this task module has been added to your uh, blueprint, whether the user can see any data inside of it or be able to uh, modify any tasks data. The access right that is needed in order to be able to make changes are as follows. You, at a minimum, need the view right to your custom investment. This includes the navigate right to custom investment as well as the navigate right to your custom investment um, The instance. If you want to be able to edit any of the task data, you need to have either the task management right or you need to have the custom investment edit right. One of those two rights will allow the end user to be able to make changes to the task, um, whether it's in the board view, in the grid view, or in the timeline view. The task module that is available in the custom investment is built on the same common component as the projects. This allows the end user to be able to save and share their views. It allows the end users to be able to see the data in per period metrics. It allows the users to add any columns that are being defined in the task object could either be, uh, that, that can also include any pick list. So as you know, you can go into the task, you can manage your pick list that is available to be included in your view and be able to save that in your view itself. Because it is built on the common component, three views that's there in your task, which is the grid view, the boards view, and the timeline views are all available to be leveraged. So the same functionality as project can be used here where you can prioritize your task using the board view. You can specify the details using the grid view or see it in a Gantt-like functionality, which is the timeline view. If you have created a local pick list and a local pick list is one of those where you can go into your project, go into your options, and then manage your pick list and create from, from right there, that's referred as a pick, uh, local pick list. That pick list is object instance specific, which means I can create one for my um, medical center in Chicago and then go have another one for my medical center in, uh, um, in New York. Obviously, if I want to share the data across the different centers, I would create uh, an object attribute, and then that would be referenced across the different object instance. If I create a local pick list and I include that local pick list in my view, and I save that view, if I go to another object instance and use the same view to see my data, that pick list is automatically removed from that view without displaying any error or, or any other message, but the, that specific local pick list is removed from the view so that um, the user is still able to use the view uh, 
uh, that was saved other places, but just that specific data that was for that object instance is automatically removed. Um, if you are using that local pick list for any filter, then going to another object instance using that view where you had the filter, we would automatically remove the filter and display the rest of the data. So essentially, uh, the views can be shared across object instances, but a local pick list we automatically handle by removing that local pick list from other object instance so that there is no disruption of displaying the data to the end user. Right. Let's uh, quickly look at the uh, product itself. So here I am in 1571. I am looking at my custom investments. Um, in this case, I am going to go into my custom investment where I'm tracking all my IT related uh, components, whether it's software um, purchases or software deployments. Here I have two specific um, investments that I have. Uh, one is for my patient billing rollout and the other one is for help desk uh, software rollout. I'm gonna go into my patient billing. You can see that the new task module is being added to my custom investment using the blueprint. When I navigate inside, I have the three options, the three views available to me similar to the project. I have my views that have been previously saved. So in the grid view, I have the similar functionality where I can see all my tasks. I can add more columns. These are all the uh, columns that are there in the task object. I can include it and then populate the data as needed. I can select any individual task and that brings out the detail functionality, which gives me conversation to do assignments, details, and any links. This is exactly the same as what is there in the project task uh, grid view. Going to the board, I can easily see the same functionality where I can drag and drop each one of these uh, and essentially prioritize them as I want it to. And then finally, my timeline view, which is using the new timeline. Uh, I can select any one of those and I can again have the same details available to me or I can create a new task or delete an existing task, again, depending on the access right as you've already covered. Because I have a new pick list, in this case called IT status, I can use that for my uh, color, as well as I can assign and save that in my uh, specific view. IT status is a local pick list. If I go to another object instance, and I go into my grid view for that task, you would notice that it automatically removed that local pick list. The rest of the columns are exactly the same. The IT status that was there is automatically removed and it's still telling me I'm using the same view. So there is, it, we automatically handle those local pick list without any um, you know, disruption to the end user. That concludes my demo for the task module.